What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here. Today I want to talk about quite a few things because my parents are home as you can tell by the open door. So, uh... <clears throat> so first, I want to show you guys something. Uh, well it actually depends on how my, what my phone is at. Okay, it's at 8%, but that's fine. So, if I go into settings, Apple has this, uh, thing to where you can choose, like you can see your battery health, right? And, uh, you know, I check it every now and then. And, uh... The battery health, right, this time, wait, let me see if this shows anything before I show you guys. Okay, look. It says battery health and then service. I don't know if you can see that. It says battery health service. And that apparently means that my maximum capacity is at 83% and I have to uh, get it upgraded or get it uh, fixed. And, uh, you know, I don't mind that. I have to charge my phone like twice a day now, but uh, I don't care, frankly. Uh, it works just fine, and it's not as if I'm going to be outside and use my phone for enough that's 83% charge. Uh, but I realized, like just now, this charger is like a super ultra-fast charger that's like for ultra-fast operations that I've been using it this whole time. Why is my phone wet? I took a shower and my phone was in the bathroom, but it's never this wet. That's weird. Anyways. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, I just thought that was interesting. Um, the second thing I want to show you guys is People Playground. Uh, because I want to show you guys some cool stuff that I created. Let's just go for uh, Abyss. I like Abyss. So, basically, uh, I want to show you guys several things that I've made. So, first off, this is a thing that I made when, before I realized that, uh, that shock detectors were made. Uh, because originally my plan was to have like this gyroscope thing here and then this uh, This thruster thing here and then a big old nuke and then when it hits a wall or a ceiling or something This would get pushed down right and then hit this laser and then that would activate the uh, the nuke right uh, Because the original plan wasn't to have any of this contraption. It was just to have a small button, but if you notice uh, Like buttons just act <sighs> How do I show this? Okay, what if I just uh, add this to here? Whoops, okay. If you notice, buttons just activate, uh, just from force. Yeah, see, so uh, the thing that I had to do was, I thought I had to do this, which is uh, kind of annoying. Uh, you know, frankly, I could have just used a shock detector, but I didn't realize that those existed because they're basically buttons, except like kind of designed for that. Well, what I wanted to use them for. Um, you know, speaking of show, check this out. Boom! That's crazy. Anyways, um, yeah, so I did a similar thing with this nuke, uh, like the big one that, like, vaporizes things. And, uh, what is this one? Oh no, my parents are home. Okay, uh, yeah, so basically I also, uh, made this thing where you turn on the laser and, wait, my bad. I made this thing where you turn on the laser and uh, the miniguns fire upwards and so it makes it go up, it like propels it. And I thought that was entertaining. Uh, anyway, so last thing, I dislike putting things over my webcam because it decreases picture quality. And also it doesn't stop the microphones from hearing things. So I got this switch, uh, this little switch that plugs into my webcam and then the switch plugs into my computer. And uh, you know, it should uh, stop this video from recording. So uh, let's see, three, Two, one. See ya, dude.